Another the, the, the impactful study uh, that was presented at the GI ASCO was uh, a trial called Himal called a Himalaya study. So this was a trial uh, done in first line setting uh, in HCC combining uh, trimalumab plus Derva versus uh, TKI uh, serafinib, and there was also a third round of a single agent pd one agent with Derva. So the median overall, the primary endpoint of this trial was an overall survival. So the concept of this is trying to combine whether combining PDL1 or PD1 plus CTL4 is better than TKI, TKI alone. As you know, the current standard at this time is combining uh, bevacizumab plus a, a checkpoint inhibitor uh, um, that was uh, presented two years ago uh, uh, that we are using at this time. So this trial was overall the, the primary endpoint of overall survival, and it did meet its endpoint of overall survival. Um, overall survival, the combination of of a Derva plus Tremi was superior to Sorafnib uh, alone by a couple of months, um, yeah. and and also there was an improvement in response rate along with uh, improvement in PFS. Now, there are a couple of interesting studies about this, uh, about the, the Himalaya study was that the single arm of Derva was also found to be non-inferior to Sorafnib. So if you just look at the number by itself, once again, the you know, number itself, it, the number of Derva seems to be better than Sorafnib in terms of overall survival, uh, the response rate, um, and in terms of PFS. Uh, so clearly, that was another interesting point uh, that uh, that where now Derva seems to be uh, to to have a not in fear to to Sorafenib, but at least trended towards better benefit. Um, and uh, inter uh, and once again, that's very common uh, theme of all the immunotherapies that the Derva plus Tremi, even though once again median survival was a couple months better than the arm of Sorafenib, the long term survival, the three year survival OS was definitely favored the arm of the combination. Now, uh, you know, having said that, um, so how does that change our uh, you know, current st standard practice at this time? Um, as I mentioned to you, you know, the standard first line currently at this time is atezolizumab plus bevacizumab, uh, you know, based on the trial that was, that was presented two years ago. Now, is that going to supplant the, the, that combination, you know, with Derva and Tremi? Well, once again, there's no head-to-head -head study, right? So, you know, you know we don't want to compare, compare apples and oranges here. Um, having said that, I think, you know, most of the oncologists would say there is a role for this combination, at least in my practice, I would say that, especially in patients who are not a candidate for bevacizumab, they are patient, maybe 20%, 30%, they cannot get uh, TKI or that blocks VEGF pathway because of the risk of bleeding or portal hypertension. So I think that's one, uh, one of the, um, sort of the, the patient population that could potentially benefit from the combination of Tremi plus Derva. Uh, not only that, I, I do think that the, the data with Derva as a single agent is very interesting. Um, in the past, there has been some negative study with with a single agent checkpoint inhibitor in, in versus a TKI, such as the Checkmate study, which was negative in first line. Having said that, with this non inferiority data with Derva therapy, you know what I'm saying, showing that once again the numbers trended much better towards um, Derva in terms of OS, PFS, and response rate. Um, that you know, if the patients are not a candidate for uh, for um, Tazo and Bev, and you know, not a candidate uh, and a potential candidate for TKI in the past. Now, with the data with this Himalaya study, most of us would probably maybe use Derva as a single agent in those patients instead of going with a combo. So, in the patients who are not a fit for a doublet, uh, may get we, we may now opt to go to a single agent Derva versus a TKI uh, because of the potential side effect that you see with the TKI as well. So, I think this was a definitely a positive study, and, and it will uh, impact their practice that some of our patients will get the combination of Tremi plus. Uh, Derva in this setting in the patients who um, do not qualify, who are not in the who, are, who, who has contraindication to um, to uh, to bevacizumab. Having said that, any patients who have a contraindication to immunotherapy period will still get TKI in first line. So I think there's still a role for all three uh, three uh, different uh, the combination or single agent. Um, but uh, but once again, you know, without head to head study, it's tough to say if one's better than the other. But I would say that I, that still, you know, a tezobed will still be used mostly in first line, just based on experience and toxicity profile. But yet there will be a role for a combination of derva plus tremi in uh, in first line setting.